Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda 2. Well, not Legend of Zelda 2, Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Last time, we defeated the Island Palace, and in this episode, we're doing a bunch of crap. <laughs> Alright, so with our new sail, we're gonna head back to the, the, uh... I forgot what the name of the place was. Place named after the one guy from Legend of Zelda who's a jerk to you. Okay, right. I think named after, but I mean the opposite, just letting you know when I say this. I do mean the opposite. I'm not trying to say that these certain characters are named of this character or other thing. I'm I mean the opposite. And what I'm trying to say is like Raru is obviously named is obviously the upper time Raru is obviously named after his version from from this game. Also, nice game. Back on the path, in here, the town of M Mido. There we are, finally. You know, Mido, the guy who's a jerk to you for existing, though he secretly wants to be your best friend. There, that's what we wanted. And now head on here for the raft! Sail to a new land! This is the land of Eastern Hyrule. And on here, there's a bunch of stuff we need to do. First up, oh, I guess there's these dragonflies that we can face. Can't really do much about them. I'll tell you the real name when they appear in the guide, but I don't currently have them. Oh, I can't kill you. I can kill a dragonfly. But in here is an item we can go for. Also, I know these guys are pretty HP. These guys are basically like kind of like booze, but instead of for their eyes open. What I want to do is we are here for a certain item. Not a B, a power thing. But anyways, grab that. Okay, there's co okay. The Tektites are the enemies that hop around, and those. Town, to the town of Naboru. Yes, named after the same character from, from Zelda. From well, named eventually after the character. This, this this town's name was used for one of the sages. With boots, I could walk on the water. <laughs> okay, let's see, get, go to the mage's shop. We don't need that, though. Hey, I need healing, please. Please heal me. I am thirsty. Okay, we don't have water for you. Oh, here it is. Want to get some water? Yes. Fill the pot and give it to this lady. You have water! Come inside! Yeah, that was easy. I feel like this area is pretty lazy with its, uh... Not li not Pretty lazy with its, uh... Quest. But hey, another sage! Meaning another... Another spell in our book! This magic will make you sword shoot fire! That's how we defeat the Tektites! By having an upgraded fire spell. Basically, okay, so you're placing our sword beam and just placing another fireball. But yeah, that in the battle is gonna be. I need to find you. Thank you. What do you have to say? See a man in Darunia before the islands. Darunia? That's another sage. Uh, what the heck are you? Another, another freaking monster that lives in the house. Blub, blub. 
Oh, okay, we're leaving town. Anyways, from here, what we want to do is head south. See these guys? Right click, and I can fire fireballs from your finger thing. A sword that can actually hurt these guys. It's really hard to hit them. That's all. Trust me. They're pretty annoying to hit them. You have to hit them in the foot, not the actual body. Head south and head in here. They're pretty annoying though. More tectites. Oi, be block. Nice! Nice! Heading, and you'll eventually find yourself at a... This room is suspicious. Okay, that's a vassal. That... there... Is it an enemy I think you can only defeat with fire? Oh, frick. When his eyes open, stab it. Uh. The problem is I could get him while its eyes open. For now. That is called a skelter. By the way, that guy. Just grab this point back and run for the hills. And did the tech types respawn? Thank god they don't. Problem is, I think they respawn there in the next area, so we'll have to deal with them later. But hey, thank god we're here in town. We can just ex enter that and leave. Well, yeah, the fire spell is probably pretty bad. It's really bad. Nope. In my personal opinion. Very, it's useful as a tech type, but just very annoying to use. I pass them. Heal. Heal me. <laughs> Zoom. Oh! I need to run away right, right now! On here, so now from here, leave town and head to that, in that north cave. Because this north cave leads yourself to the next area. Stab him. Ow. Ow. There you go. That's a Dodongo, I think. Or a Basilisk, I think. Start this area. Who's going? That's swift. Why am I using it? On through. Front to our next area. Which we are back. Alright. Immediately. To block that. Tight tights were super easy in the first game. Super difficult in this game for some reason. And we head right. Very, very why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Head to south. What? 
Okay, the southern port. The southern point of this area is a Link Doll! And now we're on the bridge. It's a pretty long one, so prepare for. Actually, never mind. This is a maze! This maze is a well, a maze, so you have to uh, be careful where you go. First path, I'm gonna show you. There's actually two things we can get here. First, down here. Lizard Man. I think he's like a red knuckle, but immune to jump slashes. I'm noticing that. There, there, not with jump slashes. There we are. 150. That is what's called a. Anyways, keep going, right? For a lost child! Link has picked up a child! <laughs> and, from here. Yes, by the way, yes, there is technically a maze. From here, we need to go up, around, all around, and to go up here. Oh, frickin'. Didn't notice that was, a, that was an enemy spawn. These basically are it's pretty simple. We're gonna level again by the end of this episode. This keeps going the way it is. Oh, you gotta be freaking <sighs> Tech tights, why is that be tech tights? I can kill him by up slashes, but no. No, you cannot. Just keep heading around, head down, and around, around and around! Get yourself a magic jar! And head right. And that's what we're getting here, I think. Alright. Or it's already in here for now, because we need that lost child in order to get to. Oh, that's... oh. I think I made a mistake. Run from the tactite! Run from the tactite! Also, he's a fly, apparently. And a basilisk. Oink. That'd be better if they're called a Dodongo, but eh. He's their own. And head across the bridge. From the town! Head west. Just head across. Head right across. Ah. Boing, boing. And across here is a town. Weavers are returning in this game. Definitely needs to be a piece, not bad. Everybody don't be grinding against them, but that's good. Don't mind if I do magic, though. Ooh. They just keep getting across. Okay, that's. Wow. Just have you. No! Link can't swim either! Because again, this game is closer to a Castlevania game than actually, uh. Oh, Legend of Zelda. Doesn't make this game bad, by the way. No, this game is pretty good. The only thing is that this game is not, in my opinion, that much of a Zelda game. It did a popular. It is pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, now it's the same area again with Bubble, by the way. So it's the life. Heal yourself up. Heal yourself, actually. Strong! Sorry if that's like a like a like a hot take. But it's I would consider I actually what am I talking about? It is it is a Zelda game, because it literally is a Zelda game. Or Legend Legend of Zelda game, I should have said. The only thing is that it basically started Ocarina of Time kinda, I think. Actually no, it really did. Inspired the game. Anyways, down in here. 
Welcome to the town of... The mountain, a town of Darunia! Named a... Which is what the goblin... Like... Goblin? Goron character is named after. You must save Hyrule! Yes, that's what, we're, that's what I'm doing. Empty house. Let's heal up at you. Oh, by the way, we're, we're very close to maxing out our hearts. Also, I was wrong about what I said. There are four heart containers and four magic jars. Alright, you reach a, a house with no windows. Alright. I see. Use the jump spell. Then jump from house to house to reach the town, the house with a chimney. Press down like you're playing Mario. And in here, it's not an area where they're allowed in. But we get the Spear Knight. When you jump, press up to stab. Not that useful as a combat move, in my personal opinion. More useful as a uh, as a as a block breaking move. But yeah, we have the up thrust now, referenced in basically all of the links in Smash Bros. So now we have the up and down thrust. Anyways, just keep heading through town. I talk to this old lady. You are a hero for saving my child. Come! Anyways, head into her house. And we can get ourselves another spell. This magic will strengthen our shield. This is the reflect spell, making us have a stronger reflect. Bouncing all spells back. And hey, we're almost done. We just have two more spells to go. Need two more towns. Actually, we have only six more dungeons, I think. We have three of them. No, oh, three more dungeons. So yeah, not many more towns to do. Anyways, now that we're done with this. Mainly it's for defeating an enemy, an enemy called Wizro Blader. Or Wiz actually, if you've watched previous, that's why you already know what Wizro is. Wizrobes, and I also think Basilisks. Like, basically makes sense. They're flex fireballs. And like, eh, projectiles would come before. Nice job. You jumped on air, though. You're the only person I've seen before an air jump. Ooh. Hey, can we both hit bubbles? No. It's missed. Sword beam? My toe! No, my, my leg! <laughs> my, my shin's all bloody. Stab, stab. Yeah, we're almost done. This area. Stab in the face. Anyways, keep heading forward. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Please keep heading forward on the path. Hey, I'm missing a beat. Or I must have had it. It's back now. I also just kill those enemies, because why not? Because we go wide the heck not? They're on our path, why not kill them? I said that up thrust wasn't that useful as an attacking move. Which isn't. Next game. Thanks to the spiders. Hope you're on the Rectophobe game, uh, guys. Cause yeah, jumping spiders. Yeah. Go, go, go! Anyways. Leavers. Not yet. Right. 
Okay, it's all an extra. Almost, well, 910. But anyways, well, now we're back here. I'm gonna end the episode soon, so don't worry. I'm gonna end it before we... I'll end it here. Right, nah, I'll end it at the beginning. Uh, long episode? Oh, actually, long episode. Why not? Why the heck not? Can you stop him? Else to do tomorrow. Heck, tonight either. Try to get a bed soon, though. Uh, after this episode. You know, this extra long episode for you guys. I actually want to talk about extra long episodes. Some of my episodes are yes, recorded for an hour long. Extra long. Anyways. Sorry. Anyways, head out the cave. And. Why did I do this? Head north. Just keep heading along. The forest maze. Hey, look, an area where a thrust would have been useful if I didn't fudge it up. Hey, look, basilisks. Ow, my face. Why did I get hit there? Why did I mess that up so bad that I got hit? Ooh! Nice, thanks, game. Why? Why do I hate me? Alright, there we go. Just scrolling up to get a full view of the map. Alright, so now we're here. So what I do is head up here. Uh, what did it say? It says... Simple action scenes and a red potion near the end. Oh. I'm gonna the wrong way around. Head up. I'm gonna check with it at, at that end. Nothing. Potion, but into our next palace, the Red Maze. I can thank you, game. Actually, really thank you. This is an enemy that I actually do think that that jump up slash be good against. Anyways, go down and take it, head down the elevator and head right. Wiz robe. These are wiz robes. They're pretty annoying. These are reflect spells, basically bounce their magic back in their faces. Be careful, by the way. Hey, jump out. Jump out. Enjoy the fun. Stalfos. Or Red Stalfos. A Red Armored Stalfos. It's both. Anyways, up here, grab an evil jump. Walk across and yum! And there's a cool tin suits. And a Doom guy. Doom Lurker, I think it's called? Doom Knocker. There we are. And hey, we're almost there. This area would be this area is really annoying. So these guys. I was over you. Please give me a help up or That wasn't even a jump. That was me just falling. Huh. 
Still this red armor. Time you actually gave it to me. Right. Head across. Boop. 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 That's why you be wary of red armors, wary of red armors, wary of red armors. Okay. Now, instead of jumping across, jump down! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Go right. Now in this area are two suits. Also a bubble. Which also a gloom larger. But of course there is. Oh, they shoot a it's a boomerang. Or gloom knocker. I get it. There is. Okay, head. The bubble. Still landed me. Head right. And level up with attack! Yay! Now it's 35,000, it's my next level up. We can get that level up yet. Are you kidding? Screw you. Get over here, you stupid freaking iron knuckle. Red iron knuckles. Never. And then we need to get their boots. It's a pretty short dungeon, actually, so never mind. Okay. Alright, now they have the boots, we can walk on the surface of water and lava. But yeah. Now what we need to do is head left from the Sovereign Bridge. You can also use jump if we can. Oh, we can't use jump. I see. Fall down. Now head left. Kill the dragon heads, just jump over them if you can. Oop. Just kill them if you can. If you can't, no, it's not black, but anyways. Oop. That could have gone better. Myself HP. Hey, look, bubble. That couldn't be more threatening. Okay, and what is this gonna be? Nothing. Alright. The bubble. The bubble sees all. The bubble sees your seeds. The bubble wants to see your sucker. Jump across and. Head west. Hmm. Hmm. Not taking that. Not taking that either. Stab. Step over you. Hmm. 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 In this room, it's a wizard room. We can't deal with this guy. What we were supposed to do, I'm just gonna say this, is use your magic to stab, to uh, jump on that guy's head, constantly. Okay, I'm just gonna take that loss and use a reflex spell. With the wizard, with the reflex spell now equipped, you can do this. Hmm. 
for the key. I feel like I've been in this room before. Have I been in this room before? <sighs> hey, look, an example of where the upstress is a good idea. Sending me a buck, yeah. I need to kill that guy. Okay, now we need to go up the elevator. I got hit by that. By that. Really? Alright, now go up the elevator until you can't go up anymore. One room. Two room. Three room. And we found the place to the entrance of the palace. And this time, instead of going right, we'll go left. Hello. Boop. Yeah, I missed. In your face. Closer. Where are you? Hey, wizard. Wizard. Boop. For 100 MP. Not 100 MP, but for 100 HP. Boop. A piece, which is pretty good for the wizard, by the way. Bad they don't. Too bad they don't respawn. Anyways. Boop. Boop. I feel like I made a mistake. Jump here. Alright, there we are. Now with the iron knuckle, the drill, stab in the face twice, and kill it. Alright. Alright, skip the elevator. Head west. Oh, I thought this guy sounded like Eeyore or something. Head west. Okay, this is you guys. Pretty easy. Very, very easy. Okay, P block. Power block, by the way. How about else do that cube? Thing. Now return back to the elevator and head down. Get sin suits, which look like chess pieces. I think that's what they're actually what they're based off of, but anyways, head down. Anyways, head east. And another lava room. This time instead of the the things with dragon heads. Great! Thanks, game. I could really use this. My sarcasm is astounding. Can you tell I'm being sarcastic? Hello. Hello. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. The heart attack. Everything is a heart attack on a button. I need a one. I need a one. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just realizing that it's LP. I'm not watching enough SpongeBob. <laughs> over this LP series. SpongeBob is good for the soul. Well, this is what the three released. There. Return to the elevator and head west. This area is... Hey, 
gonna be dangerous if you're not careful. Head down. This is the dangerous part. Use shield. And jump if you have it, but we, I don't, so. Hey, over here. Over here, sell those. Thank you. That would be. Ooh, money! Thank you. For 2000. Stand still and be a good enemy and die for me! Anyways. Sorry, my friend. I have to ignore you. Anyways, iron knuckles. There are a lot of plentiful in this room, so be careful. We're getting a pretty good fight in them, though. And in the next room, we find our boss, which I cannot beat! Huzzah! Anyways, but we need, I need to die. This guy is Karuk. I can't beat him, because I have no magic. I need to die. Now with this, I'm gonna head back, because now I can get that, that bow. This. Jump. Bloop. Bunch of money. And then I can do some short grinding, which we can get our level up. Ow, why did I do that? Anyways, the gimmick to this guy is reflection. He's reflect his stuff back in his face. Just keep, just keep his magic and just reflect and crouch. Eventually, he will die. For you. Ow. I'm not wasting two lives on him, though. Up. Okay, I'm running out of lives, though. What I usually like to do is this. Is to use that and just crash that corner. Ow. That's working much a lot worse than my original strategy. Occasionally he'll hit you, but hey, there's a heal score. I should probably use a shield as well, but I'm forgetting that I have it. And he should be dead in about, like, now. Second. Alright. Now, I'm caught. Should I grind? Should I grind? It is a waste of the Switch EXP and the heat bags. Yeah, I'd be right back. Alright, I'm almost there. I'm just gonna quit the reflex spell so I can just kill this guy and boom, level up. Do get ourselves our magic up, which makes his life. Nice. In the middle, we have a bit more to go, and it will be max level. Yeah, I don't care about losing any guy getting hit anymore. Different if I die, but that's beside the point. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> the amount of grinding that I get to this life is, is kind of ridiculous, though. Those dragon heads can be easily killed with a with a uh, with this, but it just take the. But I had to do a lot of killing. Don't worry, though, that two, like they drop twenty a piece, five. 100, that no, that's why I needed 350. That's at least 5, it's 25. Okay, 500. 50. 55. 60. 65 enemies. At least 65. But, anyways, with that done, we can now leave the dungeon. I actually don't like how they, uh, make the, the Wiz Ropes from Wind Waker a lot. The Wiz Ropes. The Wiz Ropes from Wind Waker in, like, later games made them bird enemies, when originally they were human, which made it all the more, like, creepy. And again, it had human followers. Like Aghanim. You know Aghanim, you know, literally he's Ganon, but anyways, that's the point. Anyways, that's life, which I think is now capped. Actually, no. Wait, is it? No, it's... No, yeah, it is capped. Next one, let's play. Fine, uh... <sighs> Next one, let's play. I'm doing a brain fart on Legend of Zelda. Have a link to who? So see you guys next time. We will go on to the ocean path so we can go over. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye, 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 bye.